Good evening, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, one more time. Are you there?
Hello, everyone. Is everyone there? Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hi, good evening, everyone. Give me one second. Okay. All right. Welcome, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Well, I'm going to start taking the attendance and I hope everybody can say good evening and say how your weekend was, say something. Interact. English is a matter of practice. Okay, here we go. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, good evening. Okay, I'm going to say your name. And I don't accept only present as an answer. You have to say present, I'm fine, I'm doing great, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And my weekend was like this, like that, like that, all right? So let's get started. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Absent. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present. Present. What else? Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. Good night, teacher. Well, I feel a little bad because I'm sick and I can breathe very well. My goodness. Are you at home or at work? At home. All right. Thank God. All right. Thank you. Emerson Alexander. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Well, I'm uh, arriving home. Uh, I arrived home uh, a couple of minutes ago. And, uh, well, a little tired, but I can't complain. All right. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive. Okay. Thank you. That gives me a better perspective. Fernando Jose. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I have a fun weekend because I went to play soccer at the, the last Sunday and I did a goal. So a score goal. Yes. Nice. So you are forward. No, actually, I, I'm a midfielder. But you scored. Yes. That's great. So you play for fun or in a team? No, it's a tournament. Oh, really? Yes. And you have uh, trainings during the week? 
No, actually no, just the Sunday just the game. Match. Yes, but okay. it's like a very with the referee and it's oh. a like a formal tournament. Yes. Wow. <laughs> but we are in the on top last place. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were on top. <laughs> yes, but but we can actually uh, qualify to playoff. Okay. But but we had to win everything that that left. Okay, to win all the matches there. But... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, almost there. Almost. Yeah. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. I saw Francisco. Maybe he left. Right, Hazel, Vanessa, Julissa, Jamile, let me not see her, Carla Ivania, Not here, but why are Luis Javier. Luis Miguel Corvera. Good evening, teacher present. Hi. Mm. Uh, very nice. I, I am. Um... I'm making a presentation for training vendors tomorrow. I I be a little busy, but yeah, I just try to 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 do the both things. <laughs> to try to handle both. <laughs> yeah. Multitasking. Multitasking, yeah. Yeah, actually, but, that should be one of the skills this day. But it's a little tired, but is is part of my life it's doable <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah every day um my weekend is fine because i spend time with my child my my girl and uh, my little dogs <laughs> you have a child yes how old is she 12, 12 years wow yeah nice she's all grown up already Sorry? She's grown up already. Yeah. He. he. <laughs> ah, it's a he. He. A boy. It's a little boy, yeah. Ah, nice. Great. But we have that two little pieces, ducks. <laughs> Mia. Mia and Bonnie. So you have fun with the dogs, too. Yes. They're cute. I got one. And only that teacher, right? Nice. Thanks for sharing. Magdiele Saul. Present teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm great. I'm how about ready your today. Weekend? It was okay. A little busy. Great. But it was okay. It was okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Manuel Alexander. Absent. I see. Manuel Alexander. Okay. Marilyn Alejandra. Present teacher. And I'm fine. <laughs> so I'm fine with uh, uh, painting my new because.
because I have an injury to my left knee and when I walk a lot, my knee is well. Swollen. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm sorry to hear that. Have you tried uh, taking any medication? Yeah, yeah, only pills. Mm -hmm. So, and I am, I am wait to, um, no sé cómo se For dice surgery. También. No, um, therapy. Yeah, but it's about una resonancia. Mm, okay, yeah. and in key, yeah. Va? KNG, like, uh -huh. something like that. Para ver si amerita operación o no. I'm sorry to yeah. hear that. Yeah, you'll okay, be fine. But I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Mario Ernesto. Present, present. Okay. I'm very sick. Very sick. What happened? High pressure. Really? Yes. And what do you have to do? Pardon? What do That's you have to do? What do you have to do? Casi no le escucho porque está viendo aquí fuera. It's raining. Sí. But really? Oh my God. All right, don't worry then. Roberto Saúl. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, so, um, I feel good, teacher. I feel good. I think that it was a, a, a good weekend, right? After a, a tired week, I think that uh, I enjoyed my, my week, spending time with my family, with, with friends, you know, recharge my energies. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yes. Awesome to hear that. At least you rest and you. recharge. All right. Yeah. Ronald? Ronald hasn't connected today. Oh my goodness. Victor Noe? Victor. No. Vidal. Neither nor. Well, dear. I see Victor is connected already. Victor, hello. Well, dear. Carlos Alberto. Hi, teacher. Present. Hello. I'm here. Sorry, it's raining right now. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, probably it's the last rain of the year. All right, thanks. Uh, I don't think so, teacher. You think it's gonna continue raining? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Do you remember a... the last year? The... Oh yeah, it rained in December. November, December, November. Every month <laughs> it's true. Hopefully, uh, this year the winter will stop sooner <laughs> because we need that. Actually, yeah, I, I think the dry season is a little bit long, but probably because we think of October and we think of wind, not rain. Probably that. All right. Well, I see. 
Yes, most of you are already connected. I had the attendance already. And as I was saying, yes, today we are on the session 16, the class 16. Today is Monday, October the 16th as well. What a coincidence. <laughs> okay, and we are in this uh, course of English for Work program. And of course, the reminders as usual about the attendance, about the time we got to be on the session and the participation, all right? So all this is really relevant and important. So that's why we remind of them all the time. All right. We're still talking. Well, we're halfway talking on, uh, about this topic and this unit, the fundamentals of warehousing management, identifying common issues, okay, related to warehousing processes, projects, uh, yeah. So we are also providing suggestions to solve the common issues related to warehousing processes, explain safely measures related to different process at a warehouse. Yeah, we've been describing this sort of um processes and issues and trying to provide suggestions. So I expect everybody to elaborate, participate, explain, give ideas, look for definitions, provide concepts so that we can all build up everyone else knowledge okay as we collaborate we learn we reassure our knowledge we remember the information better and we also help and support others so that's the expected behavior right okay we're going to be studying a uh, first conditional okay I, I brought a couple of examples on this slide of course you're going to see this in a more detail way on the manual first conditional is a structure that as you say it must be i mean a condition must be fulfilled in order to have a good result right so i give this examples it's come from um this Condition and this consequence or this result, this expected result. Okay, we're gonna be studying this in a little bit more details in a while. I brought also these examples. Okay, this is a uh, better or a more detailed explanation of what the first conditional rules, first conditional examples, how to use one of the first conditional and the common mistakes that we make when we are speaking when we are communicating and we tend to use the first conditional all right as well we're gonna be yeah this is how the the manual presents the topic okay how to use clauses when with when and if of course i know to express future conditions right so if we are uh, express a condition we can use either with or when and the result would be in the future so we use will for the result right and to start with i'm going to start sharing some vocabulary okay so i'm gonna be um holding this okay these are some pictures related to vocabulary that we have in a warehouse. So we're gonna be studying this. And of course, you know, we're gonna be solving exercises related to this vocabulary. So let me make a pause on this slides and I'm going to share. Give me one second, just need to get the link. It's right here. Mm, yes, it's equipment for the warehouse. One second.
Well, you can open it up and work on it. Okay, so you have the concepts and let's start with the easiest ones. It's just to match. It's just to draw a line from the machine to the explanation or the definition of it and the tools as well. So I'll give you a couple of minutes to work on that and then we are going to compare, okay?
Good evening, partners. Do you finish? No, still working on it. Did you, someone finish yet? I finish. Really? Well, I only have the forklift, the hard hat, the steel toe shoes, and the safety gloves. I don't know if, well, the reflective vest is the, to help the workers by seen by others. I don't know if that's correct. I got wrong floor relief, pallet, industrial escape, package table, and rich truck. Those five terms I have wrong. Mm. Keep space protect from injury at work. I think that should be the face shield. Safety glasses. I'm not even sure, but <clears throat> the safety glasses with the. I can hear you. Oh, sorry. Let me let me. Yes. Now better. Okay. I was telling you that I have I'm doubt with the safety glass and uh, well, the safety glass, safety glasses. Uh, maybe, safety glasses yeah, I have maybe. okay protect the eye from flying drivers or spills the mm -hmm. safety glasses okay well, let, me, let me go in some order the pallet rack pallet rack is used to put products yes oh, okay no Pallet rack is where pallets are stored in the warehouse. Oh, well, that's what I can erase, erase the line. What? Hand truck is two wheel device, helps move heavy items. Dog is part of the warehouse where trucks load and unload. Conveyor belt. Use belts and rollers to move products. Hard hat is protect the head from falling objects. Safety glass that I told you before. The steel toe shoes protect the feet, especially toes from injury. Face, face shield keeps face protected from injury at work. Mm -hmm. Reflective vests is helps workers be seen by others and safety yeah. gloves is should always be worn to protect your hands and the other ones i have one uh that's i i, I got that one wrong the safety gloves oh, okay well Uh, 
Okay. Check my answers. Wow, a lot of ones. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I can see. Is everyone back? All right. Well, let's see. What was the palette rack? It is where pallets are stored in the warehouse. Exactly. It's the place where pallets are stored in the warehouse. Kind of a stack up. Right? We, this would be the pallet rack. Okay, the fourth list. I put, I don't know if, if it is used to leave a move pallets in warehouse. Because mm -hmm. I have run that one. I don't know. Yes, this one. We used to leave. Wait a second. Um, they move pallets in a warehouse. It's like a fort there. Ouch. All right. Hand truck. Is two wheels device helps move items, heavy items. Yes, two wheels device. And not only in the warehouse, right? There are some people that carry things other places and they, they are pulling or pushing those two wheel devices to help move heavy items. So that would be the hand. Okay. Pallet or skid. What is that? Pallet is used to put products on for storage or shipping. Oh, used to put products on for storage on shipping. This was an easy one. Industrial scale. I have run that one. I put leave employees up high instead of a ladder. That is wrong. This scale is like the vascular, so it's the measures, right? Meal. Measures the weight of items in or out. That's an industrial scale. Okay. Packing table. Packing table. It should be a place where product can be packaged. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right, dock. 
reach truck. Out of the warehouse where trucks load and load. Okay, load and now load. Just keep reach truck. Reach truck? Yes, just keep it. I, I skipped that one, it's true. All but right. it is leave employees up high instead of high. Uh -huh. So this one should be this one, right? Yes. Employees up high instead of a ladder. That one is a cool one, actually. <laughs> because you don't have to be stepping on a ladder. Conveyors belt. Conveyor belt. Use, use belts and rollers <laughs> to move products. Mm -hmm. This is similar to what uh, the cashiers in the supermarket have, yes, to get the the products scanned, but in a in a big proportions, of course, right? Our hat. Our hat is protects the head from falling objects. Mm -hmm. It's the helmet, right? that engineers usually wear on their heads. Safety glasses. Protects the eyes from flying deep rights or De spills. Debris, yeah, or debris. spills. What is debris? It's como viruta o pedacitos de, de glass or the <laughs> <laughs> pieces of glass or any other material that can harm your eyes. Steel toe shoes. <clears throat> Protect the feet, especially toes from injuries. Yes, that's right. So these are the, the boots that have this part at the front, right? To protect the toes. Mm -hmm. All right. And face shield. Keeps the face. I mean, that's just a kind of a school. That's but it's a mask actually, similar to a mask, right? That should be the face shield and reflective vest. Have to work as using the others. Yes, reflective vest is this, you know. Similar to the ones that uh, police officers of transportation use to be sent, right? So to be sent from others, by others actually. And safety gloves. You should always wear this or you should always be, I mean, yes, the, the gloves should be worn to protect your hands. All right. This would be safety gloves. All right. So this is part of the vocabulary we've been using. Excuse me, see. Well, now that you remember the vocabulary, <laughs> you're going to tell me because of the photos I was showing you. We include it right here. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay, where can I go? And here. And you can explain a little bit more. Okay. Uh huh. What was this? You see a lot of boxes, but what is the idea? Maybe the pallet rack. Mm -hmm. That's how the racks are stacked, right? Mm -hmm. So the pallets to, to classify, to store the products, right? In this one, the rich truck, similar. 
<laughs> I don't know if you have seen, maybe not this one, but the, the rich truck is, is very common to see it in EPA. Because they are usually, you know, reaching products from racks. This one is a pork. Pork lift. Uh -huh. This is the one that they used to lift the pallets. This. That is the hand truck. Uh huh. And probably some other people call it trolley. As in British. And this is the pallet, of course. And people mm -hmm. use the pallet not only to store products, but when they are no more used in the warehouses, in trucks, they are used to make <laughs> furniture <laughs> or to decorate the garden as well. <laughs> they are also used for for uh, plantations, like nursing, nursing homes, I guess, nursing trees. I got um, a friend who, who got an engineering in, in food and she used these pallets to, to make the, the spaces for the vegetables. So that can be another use. Uh, this is the scale. Sorry. So what we say we use the scale for? To measure the weight of items. Mm -hmm. To measure to weight. All right. And this? The packing table. That's the packaging table. Well, I think it all depends. I mean, I found this one that could be like a very, I don't know, a very complete one because it has different type of packaging, carton boxes, and a masking tape, and even a ergonomic rug to be standing and packaging but I think it depends of the industry and it depends of the of the warehousing as well because I've seen the in the company that I work for I've been there a couple of times in the packaging area it's not that ergonomic <laughs> it's different it's totally different i don't know if if i didn't pay attention very well but they don't have like all these things so i saw they were just like creating the boxes that are just extended and they put in them like assembling them and then putting the 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 pairs of shoes inside so i think ah this is the one that you were talking about Okay, but they're also using it to, to move these things. So I'm not quite sure if it's a, this is the same one. And this one? The conveyor belt. And it's a conveyor belt. All right. This is a huge one. The dock. Those are the docks, right? So they're very similar to, they say muelle, like. Yes. Uh huh. But I don't know if this is mechanical or, or it has something that they can just extend into the trucks or like a, like an elevator, but flat, <laughs> probably. And I just found those ones. So I hope this helps. And let's get to the point of the structure that we're going to be studying. These are some of the examples. I just got them right here. How to use closes with when and if. You have the two possibilities, both mean the same in this case because we are using them as a condition, right? So you can say either when or if to describe what you think you will do or what will happen in a specific situation in the future. When there are inaccurate 
purchase orders, customer satisfaction will be compromised. Compromise in English is not like in Spanish. Entonces, cuando se comprometido, no. In English, se compromete la seguridad o se compromete algo, so hay riesgo. So, si quisiéramos decir comprometido, like in Spanish, hay dos palabras. It depends. Committed, when you got the commitment of doing something. And engage when it's in a relationship. So, in this case, compromise is uh there might be danger there might be risk okay so when there's an accurate purchase order customer satisfaction will be compromised or customer satisfaction will be compromised when there are inaccurate purchase orders so you can either put it at the beginning or at the end so this depends right how you want to use it and of course when you use when or if that is the condition, okay? So in this case, you can use, uh, you can also use if, if there are inaccurate purchase order, customer satisfaction will be compromised or customer satisfaction will be compromised if there are inaccurate purchase order, right? So when or if you can alternate, right? So it's not necessary that you only use when or with if. If there is a lack of communication between employees, productivity will decrease. Or inverting the order. Productivity will decrease if there is a lack of communication between employees. Right? So notice that when and if clause is expressed in present tense and the independent clause express, is expressed in future tense with will. So that's why it is called the first conditional, okay? I was explaining this, the first conditional, the condition and the consequence or the results, right? If I study hard, also oh, if you study hard, you will pass the test. Condition if a study in present and the result in future with will. If you wake up late, you will miss the bus. The condition with if is impressive and the result is in future with will. So the condition, if you aren't going to the party, I'm not going to go either. You are not, okay? So that's present. So to talk about something that will probably happen in the future if the conditions occur. If present, comma, and then the result in future. So that's how we structure the first conditional condition if both present or present continuous if necessary, and the consequences with will or going to, but more common with will because you're not certain. It all depends on the condition. So this is another explanation. First conditional in English. First conditional rules, the condition must be in the present simple tense. The result must be in the future tense with will. Don't use will in the condition. And then use if in the result, right? Let me see. First conditional example, if you study more, you will pass the exam. If I have time, I will call you later. When she gets home, she will cook dinner. If they don't hurry, they will miss the train. And this is how we form, this is the structure. If or when in the present simple, and then will plus the base form. For example, if it rains tonight, I will stay at home. In the sentence, rains is in the present simple. And yeah, that's the present simple form of the verb to rain, and will stay is the future tense of the verb stay. The word will is used to express the future tense, and it always followed by the base form of of a verb. So common mistakes using would instead of will in the result that's a mistake because would is used with the second condition or not the first one. Using will in the condition that's also a mistake using if in the result and mixing up if and when. So if you use if yeah then it's if. If you use when then it's when in a sentence right. So I'm gonna Continue with 
your manual so that you can see the exercises that the manual provides. Just a second. Just need to get to that. All right, here we go. Let's see? It's right here. So I bet you already found it in your manuals as well. So we're going to rewrite. Okay. Rewrite the sentences below to make statements using clauses with when and if, express in future, modify the verb when necessary. So we can modify this verse because obviously we need to put them in future if it's necessary. Well, check answers with a classmate. Okay, the organization of the duck is bad. Time is wasted over a necessary task. Uh huh. The financial department sends inaccurate reports. Money is lost. The warehouse space is limited. There is disorganization. The employees open boxes and count items. Time is wasted. There's a lack of communication between employees. The time to fulfill orders increases. So let's double revise. Okay, let's check. How can we put these two sentences together using when and will in the result? All right. So I'll give you a couple of minutes to check it out. It's it. Yes. Just to be sure, can I give you like the form that I do the first one? Mm -hmm. Just to be sure. You're the sure? first one, the result, it would be if the organization of the dog is bad, time will be wasted over unnecessary tasks. That is the yeah. way. Yeah, okay. if you want to use if, but if you want to use when, you just change if for when. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I use the verb that is in brackets, in parentheses. Right. Okay. Right. The word, yes. The verb is this one. Okay. The one that is underlined. Will be, but that's the future.
Ay, Fernando. Do you finish? Yeah, well, according to the instruction. I can hear you. Okay. What about now? Got it. Much okay. better. Okay. So, well, according to the instructions from the PBF, uh, you have to rewrite the sentence to make yeah. sentences using clauses. So, well, I got the first three. Mm -hmm. The first one says the organization of the dog is bad, time is wasted over unnecessary tasks. Mm -hmm. So I write it, I rewrite it as a uh, when the organization of the dog is bad, time will be wasted on unnecessary tasks. Yes, that's how I rewrite it too. Oh, the second one. The second one is the financial department sends inaccurate reports, money will be lost. Mm -hmm. The third one is when the warehouse space is limited, there will be disorganization. Okay. The, the fourth well, the fourth says the employees open boxes and turn items. Time is wasted. I think that uh, well, when the well the employees open boxes and turn items, time will be wasted. And the last one says there is lack of communication between employees. Time to fulfill orders increases. If you say if, if there is a lack of communication between employees, the time to fulfill orders increases or will increase, I think. Yeah, it will. It should be will. Uh -huh. Just in the last one, I, I have like doubts. Yeah, because well, I think uh, the if and what what would happen when the if the if goes in that sentence, right? A little confused, but. But not maybe conf confuse when they when she's explaining, but if uh, if we're seeing as a, I don't know maybe a logical order, order that's a a way to understand it, I think. Okay, I got it now. Good. All right, finish. Yes, done. Yes. Great. Just find the text. Wait a minute.
for some reason. Let me see. I'm going to this one. This color. All right. The first one says the organization of the dog is bad. Time is wasted over unnecessary tasks. So you started with the word when. Yes? When the organization of the duck is bad, is in simple present, right? What will happen? Mm -hmm. Time will be wasted. Exactly. Time will be wasted. Okay, this is one way to say it. What if you inver invert the order of the clauses? You can say time will be wasted when the organization of the dog is bad. So okay. the two forms are possible. Okay. All right. The next one. The financial department sends inaccurate reports. Money is lost. When money is lost. Mm -hmm. If the financial department. Mm -hmm. The financial Send. department sends inaccurate reports. Sends inaccurate reports, exactly. Sorry. Reports. Mm -hmm. Money will be lost. Will be lost. This reminds me of a song, but we cannot sing songs here, okay? Which song, teacher? <laughs> she will be lost. Because YouTube bans your videos. When we sing songs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The warehouse space is limited. There is this organization. There is this organization, or there will be. There will be. There will be this organization. When the warehouse space. When the warehouse space is limited. Mm -hmm. Or you can say when the warehouse space is limited, as the the same order, right? When the warehouse the space, I forgot. Sorry, it's limited. There will be this organization. All right. I hope it fits perfectly. The employees open boxes and count items. Mm -hmm. When? When employees. Open boxes and count items. Mm -hmm. and time, employees open boxes and count items. Time will be wasted. Time will be wasted. Oh, 
you can invert the order. Time will be wasted when employees open boxes and found items, right? Mm -hmm. And the last one, there's lack of communication between employees. The time to fulfill orders increases. If, if there is a lack of communication. Mm -hmm. If there is lack of communication. Between employees. Between employees. Mm -hmm. The time to fulfill or orders will increase. Exactly. The time to fulfill orders. Sorry. Will increase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. If there's lack of communication between employees, the time to fulfill orders will increase. Bingo. All right. Now, according to the manual, you have to choose three of the sentences here. So we have five. And offer suggestions to solve these issues. I'm going to give you a couple of time. Probably you can type any suggestion on the chat?
All right, we just got one suggestion and it's to hire the financial department and hire experienced people for that department. All right, what about the, let's say the warehouse space? If the warehouse space is limited, small space. Uh -huh. The owner <laughs> should get a bigger piece of land and construct a bigger warehouse. They should rent a bigger space. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, the company should find a way to automate the to open boxes and count. Right. Okay. To probably count them automatically in an automatic system. Mm -hmm. Lack of communication. Oh, wow. <laughs> what should be done? Yes. Yeah, in this case, I think um, employees should receive or should be given trains to avoid misunderstandings and lack of communication so that they can communicate effectively and efficiently. Okay, bye. Oh, no, because that will involve an investment as a reward and people are not being efficient. So maybe if they improve their lack of communication, they will be considered some parties to celebrate their improvement. Otherwise, no pain, no gain. All right. Well, I'm going to share this other link for you to practice the first conditional. Of course, the examples are about different um, topics, not necessarily the same vocabulary. Let's move on. This can take you some minutes. So the exercises work on them, but they're pretty simple.
Hi. Do you finish? I in the second page in the drag and drop. Okay. You did, uh, did you did you finish? I am on the I don't know it is the third page. Oh, the puzzle. No. Uh, no, no, it's not a puzzle. It's uh. Is the listen and choose. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the last one is uh, um, like a puzzle, but I don't know how to say so by the letters. Yes. Hmm. Word search puzzle. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay. It is a little bit longer. But... Yeah.
Hey, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Done. Yes. No mistakes. A few. <laughs> In which one? In which part? In the multiple choice after filling the gaps. Um, let's see, really, which one exactly? Uh, she missed the bus if she not leave soon. Okay, so she will be, she will miss the bus if she does not leave. Mm -hmm, that is the right one, but uh -huh. I put number the letter B. Okay, she will miss if do not. Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't because of she. The then the first the drop drop down select box, but to be honest, I don't know what I have run this one. Drag and drop. Mm -hmm. If he comes. I will be surprised. No, the other one, the drop down select box after they watch the video. Oh. Oh, yeah. I will buy a new dress if I have money. Yes, but I put that, that one and it got it wrong. wrong. Yes. If really? The second oh. one. Would probably because it has the asterisk, I will not buy, probably. Uh -huh, but if I have enough money, I will buy it. Uh -huh. okay. The other one is she will cook <laughs> dinner if you go to the supermarket, but also is wrong. Uh, so the setting of the page. Mm -hmm. And the third one is he will go on holiday if he has time. Yeah. Sorry, Grammatically also, speaking, that's the right one. <laughs> but it's also wrong. But I got I got it. Good. Awesome. All right. Good. And then you and, find the words and the crossword. Uh, only present and future. That is the only one that I, I didn't find. You didn't find them. No. That took me a while as well. You didn't. You find them. Yeah, I did. Where is present in you. which column and row? I'll show you. Okay. This one, because pressing is all the way up, up, like diagonally and up the way up, and future is this. The, the first, I first. did only one. <laughs> really? Yes. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. Weird, weird. All right. So maybe everybody left the station. Or this. <laughs> Let's go back. And Miss Emerson and my dear, did you finish? Well, I'm finishing the puzzle. The crossword? Yeah, the crossword. The puzzle still. Yeah. All right. Well, we're not going to solve all of them in the in the main session, so a couple of them only. All right, done. I bet you finished. So let's solve a couple of the examples. If I study today, I will go to the party tonight. To right. So just need the conditional if and then will for the future the result uh-huh if i have enough money i will buy some new shoes 
Yeah, me too. <laughs> she she will be late if the train is delayed. If the train is delayed. That's right. Multiple choice, just the correct option that fills in the gap. If I have enough money, I will buy some new shoes. I will buy. <laughs> uh huh. This is the same one as the, the one from the train. Uh huh. She yeah. will miss the bus. Yeah. <laughs> If she do not leave, soon. yeah, she does not leave soon. Uh -huh. If she doesn't, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm negative. If negative, okay. <laughs> uh huh. I will not. Yes, go. I will not go if you do not come with me. If you do not come with me. Okay, matching, match the beginning of the sentence with an ending that makes sense. If I go out tonight, I will go to the cinema. It doesn't match. <laughs> What's wrong with the pencil? Ah, there we go. If you get back late, I will be angry. Ah, how rude. <laughs> if it's messy, uh, yeah, very okay. Let's <laughs> skip this part. <laughs> okay, oh my god, all right. So, drag and drop, and the word to fit in the sentence if he comes, comes. Oh, that's I think that's the spot. Okay, if he comes, I will be surprised. If, if we wait, we wait here, we'll be late. Uh -huh. We will be late. If we go on holiday this summer, we will go to we'll Spain. We will uh, school. will answer the following questions to support with your experience. What would you do if you have problems with the English language? I will have to study harder. <laughs> I will have to take another course. <laughs> oh my God, we're not going to complete this part because this is very personal so you know the way you do it and this was a listening we're also going to skip it because it must be uh, well yeah it must be very long it, it must take this long time and yeah this has to do with the listening this also has to do with the video and then the puzzle I just didn't find a speculation. Did you find a speculation? You didn't find it? No. I, it I think is... I didn't find it. <laughs> I didn't look for it, actually. Mm -hmm. it is speculation. Did you find it? Is it is under the S from first? This? No, from the word first. It's oh really? S. This one? Yes. The other S down to the S. Uh, oh this way. As speculation. Under the S the the other one. Up up this one. This, yes. S Ah this all the way down. Yes. Okay. Got it. So it also includes some other letters from other words. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got it. So I think I skipped. All right, we're done. Well, thank you, Fernando and Emerson and a couple of others because <laughs> of the participation. It's very tough. For a teacher to be, I think this sounds like one-on-one class I guess most of the exercises are just answered by one or two people so I think attendance must be taken because of means of four requirements I'll do it Abigail Atilio Elizabeth Ernesto 
Emerson, sorry, Emerson, <ríe> Fernando, Francisco, sí. Ernesto, Hazel, Julissa, Carla, Luis Javier, Luis Miguel, Miguel, Manuel, Marilyn, Present. Mario, Roberto, Present. Ronald, Victor, Vidal, Valdir, Carlos. All right. I think that's it. See you tomorrow. See you, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.